Welcome to Culture Alley Mandarin. Ni hao. This is Basic Mandarin Lesson 21. Let's begin by reviewing some of the phrases we learned in the last lesson. A little translates as yi diar, while can or to be able to becomes hui. To say or speak translates as shuo, while understand becomes dong. Similarly, listen translates as ting. And finally, once translates as yi bian. Great! Now let's look at a few more. Again translates as zai. While use or function becomes yong. Similarly, how will be zama. And this gets translated as zhe. Meaning becomes yi si. And what becomes shama. Wonderful! Now let's look at a few more phrases covered earlier. I can speak a little Mandarin translates to 我会说一点中文 While Can you speak English? will be translated as 你会说英文吗? Sorry, I don't understand becomes 对不起,我听不懂 And please say it again is 请再说一遍 Similarly, how do I say dash in Mandarin becomes dash 用中文怎么说? While what does this mean translates as 这是什么意思? Finally, please speak a little slower becomes 请说慢一点 Great! Let's move on to today's lesson. Today, we will learn about hobbies. Today, we will discuss about new hobbies and interests and have a small conversation centered around the same in Mandarin. So let's get started. Let's begin by taking a look at today's conversation. Here we will have Mark and Lisa talk about their hobbies. Hello, how are you? I am good. How are you? I am also good. What are your hobbies? I like drawing. Wonderful. What do you usually like to do? I like swimming. I don't like swimming. I like sports. I also like playing basketball. I also like to travel. Now that we've covered the conversation, Let's start by learning the vocabulary for the first sentence, that is, what are your hobbies? Hobby translates as I how, which is pronounced with a falling tone on both A's. Once again, it's I how. Good! Note that the sentence, what are your hobbies, literally translates as, you have what hobbies, in Mandarin. Let's take a look at the breakup of this sentence. You translates as 你 while have becomes 有 what is translated as 什么 and hobbies becomes 爱好 thus what are your hobbies is translated as 你有什么爱好 literally meaning, you have what hobbies. Great! We can reply to this sentence by saying, I like drawing. Let's learn how to say like and drawing. 
like literally translates to Xi Huan. Using the third tone for I and the first tone for Huan, making it Xi Huan. Drawing or to draw literally translates as Hua Hua, which is pronounced with a falling tone. Note that the same word is repeated twice while saying Hua Hua. Excellent! Let's look at the word by word breakup of the sentence I like drawing. I translates as Wo. Like becomes Xi Huan. And drawing translates as Hua Hua. Thus, I like drawing becomes Wo Xi Huan Hua Hua. Very good. The next sentence, we hear Lisa say, Wonderful. So let's do a quick recall. Wonderful translates to Tai Hao Le. Good. The next question we ask is, What do you usually like to do? For that, we will have to learn how to say usually. The word usually is translated as Ping Shi which carries a mid-rising tone on both the eyes, making it ping shi. Good job! Note that, just like before, what do you usually like to do becomes you usually like to do what in Mandarin. Let's look at the word-by-word -word translation of this sentence. You translates to ni while usually becomes ping shi. Like translates as xi huan. And similarly, to do becomes zuo. Finally, what translates as shema. Therefore, what do you usually like to do is translated as Ni ping shi xi huan zuo shema. Meaning, you usually like to do what? Good! All right, it's quiz time now. Let's see if you remember what we've covered till now. How do we say hobby in Mandarin? Do we say hua hua? Or is it ai hao? Or does it become ping shi? The correct translation of hobby is ai hao. Let's see another one. How do we say usually in Mandarin? Do we say ping shi or xi huan? Or is it simply shema? Usually translates as ping shi in Mandarin. Here's another one. How do we say, what do you usually like to do in Mandarin? Will it be, 你是喜欢做什么? Or does it become, 你平时欢做什么? Or is it just, 你平时喜欢做什么? The correct option is the last one, that is, 你平时喜欢做什么? Hope you got that one right. All right, let's quickly go through what we've covered till now. Hobbies translates as, I how. While like becomes, 喜欢. To draw becomes, 画画. And lastly, usually translates as ping shi. Excellent! Let us now review the phrases we've covered till now. What are your hobbies? Translates as ni yu shema ai hao. While I like drawing becomes 
我喜欢画画。Wonderful will be 太好了。And what do you usually like to do is translated as 你平时喜欢做什么 ？Great. Now let's move on. The question, "What do you usually like to do?" can have a lot of answers. Here are a few phrases we commonly see in use. Here's a simple one: "I like shopping," which literally translates as "我喜欢逛街 Where "guang jie," pronounced using a falling tone on a. And a high-level tone on e means shopping. The next sentence we learn is, "I don't like watching TV," for which we'll have to learn the word "watch." Thus, to watch translates as "kan," which is pronounced with a falling tone. Thus, "I don't like watching TV" is translated as "wo bu xi huan kan dian shi." Where "dian shi" means television and uses the falling tone on both a and i. Great. Do you remember that we use the word "bu" to negate an expression or verb? Note that the previous sentence states, "I don't like watching TV," with the word "bu" implying not. Similarly, "I like watching movies" will become. 我喜欢看电影 Where 电影 using a falling tone on a and a falling rising tone on i means movies. Let's see another one. I like swimming will become 我喜欢游泳 Where 游泳 Means swimming. Note that yo yong uses a mid rising tone on the first o and a falling rising tone on the second o. Great. The next sentence, "I don't like swimming. I like sports," is translated as, 我不喜欢游泳。我喜欢运动。Where sports is yun dong, pronounced using a falling tone on both u and o, means sports. Great. Now let's learn how to say play for the sentence. I like to play basketball. To play or playing is translated as da, which is pronounced using a falling rising tone, making it da. Very good. Thus, I also like playing basketball. Becomes, 我也喜欢打篮球 Where also becomes 也 and basketball becomes 篮球 Basketball uses a mid rising tone on both a and u, making it 篮球 Great. The next word we learn is trip, which translates as 旅 in Mandarin. 旅 is pronounced using the third tone on u, like 旅 Good job. Interestingly, the term 旅 in Mandarin has a variety of meanings, which include to swim, to walk, to tour. To roam and to travel. Thus, I also like to travel is translated as 我也喜欢旅游 Where travel becomes 旅游 Once again, it's quiz time. Let's see if you remember what we've covered till now. How do you say sports in Mandarin? Will it be? Yo yong, or dianing, 
or simply 运动 The correct translation of sports in Mandarin is 运动 How do we say shopping in Mandarin? Is it 逛街 or 打 or does it become 电影 Shopping translates to 逛街 in Mandarin. Very good. Here's another one. How do we say to watch in Mandarin? Is it 旅 or 看 or is it just 打 The correct answer is 看 Hope you got that right. How do we say I don't like watching movies in Mandarin? Do we say 我不喜欢看电影 or 我不欢看电视 or is it 我不喜欢看电视 The correct answer is 我不喜欢看电影 Good job. Here's the last one for the lesson. How do we say I like to travel in Mandarin? Is it 我喜欢旅游 or 我也喜欢旅游 or is it 我也喜欢打旅游 The correct translation of "I like to travel" is "我喜欢旅游 Hope you did well there. All right, let's review what we've learned today. Shopping translates to 逛街 while "to watch" becomes 看 Movie translates as 电影 while swimming becomes. Yo Yong. Similarly, sports translates to 运动 and to play or playing is translated as 打 Finally, a trip translates as 旅 Great. Let's also look at the phrases we've covered today. I like shopping translates to. 我喜欢逛街 While I don't like watching TV becomes 我不喜欢看电视 Similarly, I like watching movies becomes 我喜欢看电影 And I like swimming is translated as. 我喜欢游泳 The sentence "I don't like swimming. I like sports" translates as 我不喜欢游泳我喜欢运动 And I also like playing basketball. Will be 我也喜欢打篮球 Finally, I also like to travel. Becomes, 我也喜欢旅游 Very good. Now let's take a look at the conversation we spoke about in the beginning of the lesson. As always, we'll cover it as a conversation between two friends, Mark and Lisa. Hello, how are you? I am good. How are you? I am also good. What are your hobbies? I like drawing. Wonderful. What do you usually like to do? I like swimming. I don't like swimming. I like sports. I also like playing basketball. I also like to travel. Now let's hear it in Mandarin. 你好。你好吗？我很好。你呢？我也很好。
你有什么爱好？我喜欢画画。太好了。你平时喜欢做什么？我喜欢游泳。我不喜欢游泳，我喜欢运动。我也喜欢打篮球。我也喜欢旅游。Great! That finishes our lesson for the day. All right, it's time for the culture leaf of the day. Now we'll talk about Chinese chess. Xiangqi, also known as Chinese chess, is a Chinese strategy board game for two players. It is one of the most popular board games in China. And is also a popular pastime in Vietnam. The game board consists of two sides: the northern territory, typically using blue pieces, and the southern territory, typically using red pieces, separated by a space called the river. Each territory contains a king's palace, and the objective is to capture your opponent's king while simultaneously protecting your own king. The name Xiangqi means elephant game, a reference to the bishop's xiang, meaning elephant, and is a stylized sketch of an elephant. While qi means game. In the next lesson, we will learn about describing people using various adjectives. Hope you enjoyed your lesson today. See you at the alley for the next one.